Hi, I'm Giovanni and today we are here with Patrick Heusser from Crypto Broker AG who is going to give us his analysis on the latest movements in the crypto market. So Patrick, earlier today, Bitcoin price shot up touching $5,800 and the total market cap for Bitcoin reached $100 billion. What does this bullish move tell us about uh, long-term and short-term price perspectives? Well, first of all, 5,800 suggests that we're going to see 6,000, which is a pretty interesting level. Um, having said that, though, um, the way up will have a bit of resistance because we're now pushing into the high volume range. Um, we're squeezing up currently due to short um, margin trades. They get squeezed out, so it's the pain trade right now. And on the longer term uh, time frames, weekly or monthly, we see a real bullish um, setup there and looking for longer term gains uh, to come. This is also um, combined with um, the whole thing coming up in May 2020, which we think is one of the events economically and technically in the Bitcoin space to, to look out for. Mm, that's interesting. So what do you think was the reason for this growth? Well, that's a bit difficult to say. There is no particular reason for the current spike. It's more of that the market um, uh, brought himself into an uncomfortable position. Short margin trades um, are getting squeezed. They put on positions during the Bitfinex tether fought and now are being in a bear trap, we call it. And um, this will take uh, a, a bit more time till these guys are squeezed out. So how is the Tether Bitfinex ongoing controversy influencing the market movements? That's a good question, but pretty hard to answer here in, a, in just a few minutes. Um, but you have to bear in mind that there are two topics or questions you need to think about it. First of all, um, is Tether systemic to the whole crypto trading space? And then second thing, the connection between Bitfinex and Tether. So short term, we see a chance that the prices will react to the downside if one or the other entity goes down. There is even the chance that both will go down as they're so intertwined. On the longer term um, perspective, we think that this is a good sign. It's a, it's a cleanup or a washout of semi-reputable um, counterparties. And to pave the way for institutional adoption, we need some proper counterparties in this space. So while many analysts think that we will test soon the psychological $6,000 resistance, other more skeptical say that we need first to bounce back to the $4,000, $4,500. So what do you think about that? What's your opinion? Well, I would say 4,800 is the level to watch. As long as we trade above that level, I have a bullish case all the way. Um, on the other hand, I would like to see uh, a pullback. But first, I think the short margin trades getting squeezed out. So we're going to see 6,000 or even a little higher than 6,000 on a very quick move up. And then a retracement down again to 5,000. 4,800 needs to hold. And then we have a clean and more healthy way to trade higher. So one last question would be, while most altcoins repeated the Bitcoin pattern in the last few hours, XRP registered far more modest gains. What's the reason behind that? Well, first of all, the altcoins over the past few weeks have not really um, followed Bitcoin. So it was, they were in pain as well. But I, I give you that over the past six months, uh, Ripple underperformed heavily um, the Bitcoin performance. And I have a very clear opinion why that is. Um, the, the Ripple Foundation is oversupplying the market with their coins. And they're doing this by the master lending agreements they put out to professional counterparties. And then they're using them as point of sale for their coins. So there is a, a constant oversupply of Ripple coins in the market of XRP. And that is clearly seen in the chart, which is just trickling down um, in a very a decent sort of um, manner and we then have those spikes up which are only holding for like 12 hours and then the trend resumes to the downside. Thanks Patrick. Here with us was Patrick Heusser from Crypto Broker AG. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exclusive content. This episode is sponsored by Trade Santa. 
Trade Santa is a cloud-based trading bot. Set it up in less than two minutes, trade multiple pairs, choose between long and short strategies, use tech analysis indicators, and see your results in real time. Trade Santa works 24-7 to get you the profit you set. The platform is already integrated with Binance, Bittrex, Bitfinex, and HitBTC. The link is in the description below. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.